a Bronx community board voting on what has become a very controversial city proposal to build a full service animal shelter in Co-op City. News 12 The Bronx reporter Anthony Carlo has the latest from Bartow Avenue. Anthony. Yes, well, after listening to the majority of co-op city residents who showed up to this meeting, voice a resounding no to having this animal shelter built in their neighborhood. Community Board 10 voted in majority for a Bronx animal shelter that has full services, but not in co-op city. Three voters abstained from the vote. The city's Department of Health submitting a uniform land use review application for the proposed space at 2050 Bartow Avenue Monday night. The response met with lots of jeers and vote for the shelter not to be built in the proposed co-op city location. The lot sits on City Island next to Red Lobster in the Bay Mall Plaza and a senior home. The city has said that the proposed full service animal shelter will have room for 70 dogs and 140 cats and will create jobs. Pushback has included the argument that this piece of land has already been slated for a youth center in the past and that the shelter would worsen traffic problems. The city has said that it chose this site for proximity to public transportation and for parking space. The Bronx and Queens are the only two boroughs that lack full service animal shelters to this date. Those boroughs will be required to have them by law. The mayor has been pushing for this and the city council passed a bill on June 7th to mandate it. I show up here tonight because we really don't need an animal shelter here. Well, the animal shelter is necessary in this location because it's in a commercial strip and a transit hub where most Bronx sites can uh, access through public transportation. Now, Co-op City does have a very strict policy against animals. They only allow people with certain uh, disabilities to own a dog. Now, the groundbreaking for this project is scheduled for 2022. The project completion expected for 2024. Councilmember Andy King, who was in the House tonight, did vote for the Bronx to get its own full-service animal shelter, but says he will stand with the Co-op City community when this bill for it to be built in Co-op City is placed in front of the City Council. That is the latest here from Co-op City. Anthony Carlo, News 12, The Bronx.